Welcome my friends to the class of Marketing 1311, Principles of Marketing. I'm Randy Sala, Assistant Professor of Business, and I will be your instructor for this class. I wanted to make this nice, quick um, orientation welcome video so you can hopefully get this done before class so we can start actually delving into the subject of marketing on our first day of class. Uh, I like to start any course, any semester with these three things. And this is a, a good way to you know, look at your life, look at your career path, the why, the what, and the how. This motivation, the process, and what products do we produce or deliverables. Um, the why, my friends. Um, believe that we are surviving in a chaotic world. I don't think there's much argument right there right about now. Uh, depending on when you're taking this course, it could be a fall, spring, or summer semester. But uh, since the year 2000, okay, just this millennia, it is almost as if we have been in some sort of a sci-fi movie that uh, doesn't seem to get any better from uh, the 9-11 catastrophes all the way through the pandemics, hurricanes, natural disasters, to the big COVID pandemic, and to all the wars that we're in right now. It's been chaotic, but hey, we're surviving. Michael Crichton had a chaos theory. Michael Crichton was a great author. I'm sure you've probably seen at least the Jurassic World series, the Jurassic Park series. Uh, that was Michael Crichton's work. He wrote a lot of stuff. If you have uh, HBO Max, maybe you've seen Westworld, all of his things. Well, he studied a Russian mathematician. Michael Crichton was a medical doctor as well. Very smart man. Um, Things that should be stable, weather patterns, economic pattern, education, healthcare. Again, pre-millennia in the 19s, 1990, 1980, 1970s, things were, were, were somewhat, you know, they were in cycles, but uh, they weren't as chaotic now. What has happened? Some sort of an unpredictability occurs when random disruptive variables get into the mix. So that's the world we live in. And... That's why I like to teach all of my courses. How can we survive? How can we get just a little bit better in our jobs and what we are doing? This is an interesting fact. We look at chaos, and then chaos certainly leads to extinction. If we were to go back a few 20 years ago to the year 2000, 52% of the Fortune 500 companies, corporations, are now extinct. They do not exist. So that's at least 260 some odd companies that were probably on that Fortune 500 list for their inception. Some of them well over a hundred years. Uh, we'll think of companies like Kodak, Blockbuster, Sears. Those were ginormous companies. They're done. They're dead. Interesting, my friends, if we do not adapt, we become extinct. So that's why I like to teach the course. That's the why. We've got to change our status quo, don't you think? I like to tell any student, don't think of yourself as a customer of Tarrant County College. You know, I get into rather interesting debates. Oh, the students are always our customers. Well, you may have been a customer uh, during the registration process, the application process, and in somewhat of student services. But when you step into a classroom, either online or face-to-face, we're a blended class, which is the best of both worlds. You don't think of yourself as a customer. Think of yourself as the product, the product of Tarrant County College that's going to go into the workforce or go on to the next university. So I think we all have to get our game. Every day we have to bring an A game uh, in this world. This is a concentric circle. All right, I'm Captain Obvious here. But um, on Michael Crichton's theory or the Russian math mathematician, this is, this is what happens. Here's where we are, and this is the technology, the environment that expands into a new level. Uh, maybe a new system, so to speak, which gets us into a new system, which gets us into a new system. So, my friends, where do we want to be? Do we want to hang back here where it's kind of nice and safe? In the Zen Buddhist world, we would call that, do we want to cocoon ourselves and not take any risks and not, not uh, venture out? Well... 52% of those Fortune 500 companies must have done that. They were very happy with their profitability, with their market share, with their customer, and they're not here anymore. 
This is the edge. This is the edge of innovation. Do we push way too far? Well, we could become extinct that way as well uh, by just going too hard at it. So should we be somewhere in the next circle that's going to create the next system, the next layer, the next economy? Um, getting as innovative as we possibly can, but not pushing it too far. It's an in interesting balance that we need to have, and that you're going to need to have throughout your career. That's the why some of the learning objectives of this course. I have been teaching a while. I like to teach this way, with relevancy, with practicality, and simplicity. As Leonardo da Vinci would say, simplicity is the most eloquent design. I think the stuff that we talk about, this is not a government class, okay? Not a history class where you're gonna learn absolutely nothing. You're gonna take anything with you uh, except dates. And you've, and you've had that throughout your, you know, your schooling from junior high, high school, probably even elementary school. We need to have relevancy if you're running a business, if you're employed right now. I mean, we're all in customer service if somehow, uh, and we can see how, how pretty bad the retail environment is right now. A lot of businesses and most of those retails was, was that top 52% of that Fortune 500 company that's no longer existing got to know who our customers so I hope we can give you some relevancy very practical the things that we do in here are going to be practical practical assignments that can hopefully help you building your LinkedIn profile getting digital badges understanding how in that first job of yours where you should start uh, when you're given a project so yes I like to teach with these three foundations so this is a basic level marketing class. We are not in hardcore social media strategies, although we'll talk about social media. It is a uh, basic basic marketing class. So it's an overview of the marketing world. You may have not have thought of marketing as that's a career that you may want to go into. Uh, you may change your mind after this course. It's an exciting part of the business world. Every business, profit, nonprofit, political, uh, uh, you name it, we, we've got to get that message out. We've got to get it to our target audience, and they need to understand that. So we'll look at how to analyze the marketing environment. Got to create value. You're going to be employed. How do we do that? Uh, other models. So we'll understand you have that first job. Uh, we'll go over in our first, you know, that situation analysis. Okay, wow, I got a first job. I got a great um um, not a first job, but the first professional job, okay, that's now I'm in charge of projects, and, whoa, where's my training? Uh, hey, you know, well, t tell us where your department is. Well, a quick situation analysis can help that out, where we can understand what's our, what's our place, and, and, and that is, you know, where do we distribute our product or our service? What is the product or service? What's the price? How do we promote that? And, of course, the politics, the political system, the competitive system, the economic system, the customer around us, that's the target, our social, all these things that are in motion. It's a great starting place to say, okay, this is where I am, and now how am I going to lead my department, my business, whatever I might be doing? Of course, if you like psychology, my friends, if you like sociology, I think you'll really like the field of marketing. Marketing is the applied psychology and sociology in the business world. Why do people buy? Why must I have a new electronic device, iPhone, uh, Droid, uh, Z Fold, whatever it might be, every single time a new one comes out? There's great psychology behind that. And if we can figure that out a little better, because we want to find out who's going to be the first to buy. That's called an adopter category. Who's the first? Who's the last? Hey, the last people to buy are not going to drive our business, but the first few rungs of people. There's an innovator. There's, there's an early adopter. There's a mainstream. We can get into that very fast. Uh, that's where we become market leaders. Why and when do people purchase? You like psychology and sociology, but maybe you're thinking, Ah, I don't know how I have a career with that. Well, then you switch to the marketing side immediately. Identifying the target market. This is a basic marketing class. This is the fundamental rule of marketing. We must have a customer that we are going for. There are 8 billion people in the world. There are 350, 60, 70 million people in the United States. There's 11 million just in Dallas and Fort Worth if you are located in this area and you just open up a, let's say you open up a uh, food truck, all right? A vegan, Mexican, Spanish, Latino fused 
uh, food truck and it's all vegan. 11 people, 11 million people your target? Well, if everyone's your customer, then nobody's your customer. We're going to find out the definition of the characteristics of the people that we are trying to purchase our product, our core customers. And if other people come in, fantastic. But we need to have a core. Hey, Walmart, as big as they are, they have a core customer. So does Target. All right, even the big box retailers do, biggest stores ever. And Amazon has like seven different core targets that they that they look at. So how to segment it? Segmentation. Well, if we think of geography, uh, I'm sorry, geometry, and the line in geometry goes infinite. You you, you can't. The only way you can measure it is to do a line segment. Same thing in marketing with these people. We segment the market to find our customers. It, it's a great part. This is the heart of the course. We have, well, we'll just throw social media out there everywhere. Hey, that's great too, but we, what we want to make sure our message goes to our target market. So every organization has one. If you don't, then, we're, then we cease to exist. And many of those 52% of the, of the companies they're now extinct in that Fortune 500 that we just talked about. Lost sight of their target customer. Somehow those cu our customers, you, me, we always change. We're an evolving process. What we liked 10 years ago doesn't mean we're going to like it 10 years in the future. So we have to understand that. That is a big part. In fact, that's just a separate unit. That's unit two of this class. Oh, I love the target market. Strategy. Now that we know the target market, how do we get it? How do we get to them? So... This is the strategy. So we're going to do a, a strategy profile of a business operation, uh, and I have that for you. How to do a quick marketing canvas. It's like a marketing plan, but it's done more graphically. And again, so when you're in your new professional jobs, if you're in it right now, or you're hopefully that, that's, that's in our near future, we can understand how does our product or service drive to the market that we want, and what are the strategies that we're going to need to get to that customer. And that's what we call the five P's. Product, price, place, promotion, and most importantly, people. That is us doing the work. And of course, we'll try to get in all of that, all the connections of where this, of, of how marketing technology. Maybe you're a tech person and you're very analytical, kind of like marketing, but you heard it's more advertising, which it a lot of it is, but not all of it. It's in sales, big driven. Well, there's huge parts in marketing. Of course, AI is driving all of that. How do we get those social media? What are all the connecting points in that area? Well, I'm excited, my friends. One of my favorite classes to teach, the how. Okay, now you're, you're psyched up. We got the why. Got the what. Now we're going to get the how, the finished product. Well, I like to think of the class as Las Vegas. There's the... The infamous sign in Las Vegas, and probably as you have heard, oh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So think of this class a little bit like Las Vegas. What, you know, what happens in, in, in the class, in the classroom. We don't need to talk too much about that to, uh, to other ones because, hey, other students are going to be jealous. You know, especially those taking government. They're meeting twice a week or history twice a week, and they're saying, oh, my gosh, man, this is insane. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Well, the chaos. COVID not disappeared. Uh, wow. Uh, now we're in the mid 2020s here um, as we are 2024. As this video goes through, it's going to go, it's going to, it's just a welcome video. It's going to go through 25 and 26 and we're seeing COVID right back. Not as bad as it was, thank God, but uh, we've seen inflation highest since 1970s, whatever the government says it is. We, we know it's somewhere between 30 and 40 percent. Those of us who live on Independently from the parents, we've got our own apartment, our house, we do grocery shopping, we put fuel in the car. Uh, it's taking everything now. And so we need flexibility. That's why I bring this into it. Flexible schedules, my friend. Well, this is a course that is called a blended course, hybrid. Uh, this course is either on a Monday, because I teach on Mondays, and I teach this class on Tuesday evening. So whichever one you are on, let's just say this is the Monday class, that's the only day we come. We don't go Monday, Wednesday. And if you are in a Tuesday class, we don't go Tuesday, Thursday. We just go on the day that it says on your schedule. So check your schedule out again. So that's our lectures every other day. So it's the hybrid gives you the best of both worlds. You actually get a professor. You, you don't get somebody online who you never see and you think is teaching your class. You're, you're here in the class with me. 
and so we can ask questions we can go there but I don't need to you don't need to see me all the time and the other days are when you complete your project now the, it will be asynchronous which means we don't get online all together and start doing a project we go hey I, I set it up for you and I go get this done and we go over it how to do it and uh, you submit by the due dates nice nice gives you a lot of flexibility you need to work differently you've got family I think you're gonna really like the format of this course because it does give you the best of both worlds uh, we have those online resources and, and projects to complete again we do di I'm gonna do get you try to get your digital badging uh, which you can put on your LinkedIn profile that that LinkedIn is gonna be your resume going forward so that's gonna help out yeah our exams it'll all be done online and you'll submit your projects online I have all the videos and things that you need to get that done so hybrid i love it you love it too blended it's going to give you tremendous flexibility in your life here we go there we go all right there's a traditional professor from the 1900s you're not worthy to be in this class that's not the way we do it not the way we do it hey i keep everything organized i'm going to show you through our our canvas page and again, I want you to be able to use this information in life. Yes, there's a traditional college. We're just so bored. Hey, we're going to be in class a, a small amount of time. Get you going to set you up for everything that you need to. Uh, the class on Monday is an hour and 20 minutes. I, I, I am not trying to, um, again, I'm just going to refer to my government professors who, oh, I've got three more minutes. You, you, you got to stay in here. Hey, time is money and we don't want to waste each other's time get you in get you out so everything else will be done online here's the book right in here so uh, marketing and introduction by Gary Armstrong and Philip Kotler I believe the great Philip Kotler has passed on but he was one of the if you've ever taken a management course I've heard of uh, someone named Peter F Drucker he that's the Philip Kotler of marketing he basically has written the text he's one of the most uh, uh, you know academia of marketing he's got he helped write this book too um, the current edition is 15th and if you want to get an older one again that's, that's it's up to you it, it just helps you really understand and do a do a brief read through of the chapter I like to just go skim through uh, and look at the the important fine fine parts of that again you're gonna be taking different classes this is the introduction uh, you may be able to find them online uh, PDS that's all yours I don't I don't make you buy it I would highly recommend that you do. It'll really help your um, education in this amazing field. A little bit of class attendance. Since we're only meeting one day a week, if you miss four or five times, you pretty much missed a whole month. And yes, you can keep up online. I, that's why I make it flexible. So if you do that and you want to just let me know, again, via email to say uh, something's come up at work and, and I, I'm not going to get there for this week or the next, that really helps me out. Now, I do not drop a student. Many instructors are just waiting to get you that five. I'm going to drop you. Hey, I've had students who never log in and never do anything. But I believe this. It's your money. It's your financial aid. It's your veterans uh, benefits. It's your scholarship. I'm not the one that needs to drop you. You are the one that needs to drop. So once in a while I have a student, man, I, I never even showed up or I stopped coming after the first two weeks of class. I thought you'd drop me. No, nope, I won't. That's your business, my friends. So just letting you know that. I hope you can make it. This class is not very long. We've only got really maybe, you know, 12 sessions somewhere around there. Uh, I think we can make it in and again uh, it'll uh, promise not to not 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 to bore you um, yes there you go there you go a little bit of studying time again since it's more of an online class as well you gonna need to do things outside of class my friends uh, my late work policy uh, does come at a price as anyone should you you think of me as in just in this classroom as you would think of a vice president I like to call myself a vice president of marketing or, or whatever it might be, and you're turning in, you know, you can't be late in the, in, in the real world, in the business world. So uh, this come in a price. They're, they're pretty hefty penalties right in there. Phones, uh, read my syllabus on that as well. I know more people, we're not using phones to talk, but we scroll. If the best a student can do, the best I can do if I'm a student in my own class is just scroll all my Instagram and and everything else for the for an hour I would I would I will probably ask you don't come back to class it's 
extraordinarily uh, disruptive to me. Uh, yeah, maybe this is my ego, but uh, you've probably given, if you've ever given a speech and no one's even paying attention to what you're doing, then, then, then why are we wasting each other's time? If I see the whole class scrolling, I'll just say, hey, let's try it next week. Let's see if we can, if we can do a little bit better next week. Again, I'm not trying to keep you an hour and a half. I'm trying to give you information. Everything I'm trying to do is trying to better you. Now, you may be an expert in this field already, then come talk to me and we'll, we'll, we'll work something else out for you. But everything I'm trying to do is to get you better and get you that first good, good job going. Some things when we'll, we'll look at how to interview, and just, just something that we've got to do. If you have an emergency and you need to take a phone call because, uh, you know, somebody is in a situation, I get that, I get that. And again, um, there we go. There we go. But uh, right now, it's not talking on phones, which you should never do in a classroom, even if it's before class. Don't do you do that in the hallway. But uh, the constant scrolling is just uh, you know we can we can we can wait a few minutes without notifications. We <laughs> we can do it. We can make it through it, my friends. Title nine, very uh, sensitive subject. And I don't want to uh, make it any any less sensitive than it is. But the Orient County College is very proactive on Title IX, is what I can say. If a student um, has something they need to say to any of our employees, we take it seriously. And we don't just say, oh, well, that's just too bad that something happened. We immediately report, immediately. So we have a care team that would get any, any um, information like that, and they'll, and they'll call, they'll give you a call, they'll work with you, we can, we can get you to our care team and walk you over there as well. But we, we do take it very, very seriously. We do have some wonderful licensed professional counselors on staff, and I can help you get an appointment uh, with them and, or, and show you how to do that. And, and everything you say will be kept in confidentiality. If you talk to a licensed professional counselor, if you say to somebody, any, any, any of us, uh, any faculty member or any staff member that I think something happened this weekend that, that I don't know, that, uh, that I know I was somehow abused, then we have to immediately get that, get that working on. And which we do, we want to protect you. So those are the, just let you know, we take it seriously. And there could be a care team. Again, it, 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 it could be, there's need, there's food scarcity, big time. Certainly with inflation, there's housing scarcity. Our our counselors are social counselors. They're not. They're not academic counselors. They're all social counselors, and they can counsel you, and they can get you and refer you to the institutions that are going to help anybody that we possibly can. So, children on campus, uh, you may be taking my night class. This is where it happens the most. Maybe who knows what happened? Uh, you didn't have any care for your child, and, and uh, so we just say, let's go ahead and sit, uh, sit them outside on one of the benches in the NBSS building or, or any of our buildings that we're in. I wouldn't do that, especially if they're a young child, you know, they're, if they're not officially enrolled in our, cl in our, um, our classes, then that's a class C misdemeanor. And those fines are about $500 and it's a criminal record. We don't, we don't want that. Uh, sometimes we'll say, let's just have a child in, in the library. And, you know, certainly if they're anywhere from like six, seven, eight, eight, nine to around 14, if, if they are your uh, cousins, they could be nieces or nephews, brothers or sisters, or your own children. If it's, if something happens, don't come to class. Don't come to my class, at least, um, because I've had to report it on several occasions, not from my students, but from somebody else's. And kids were in the hallway and they didn't know where they were. They, they went to the bathroom. Somehow they went downstairs, upstairs. And they were pretty small. Um, yikes, I had to call the police. Again, we've got a report. I can't just say, oh, okay, you're cool. Uh, at any rate, I guess you get that. Please, please, you know, let that, if, if you have child duties, you can't, don't, don't come to class. You, 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 there's stuff online. There's videos I've got. You're going to be fine. Campus carry. Best thing I can say here is read the campus carry regulations. There they are right down here. Uh, you can always talk to our police. If you want to exercise that right, you definitely need this because we also have a child care center, early learning on this campus, the only campus I think that has that. And if you're within, I believe, 200 yards with a firearm, which is almost anywhere in the campus, but uh, man, that, that, that's a felony. And we have had two of our own employees that violated the campus carry because it's, it, it's, it, it's technical and they put their firearm in their drawer in their desk while they went to the restroom 
and somebody nailed them on that. And the police were there and uh, handcuffed them, took them to jail. It's, it's a serious, that's, that's an armed weapon. And our chancellor at the time uh, gave them, I, I pressed full charges. And so that's about $10,000, $15,000 worth of court costs. You'll never own a gun again in Texas, legally at least. That, and probably all somebody needed to do was tell this person, make sure you know every rule of campus carry. I don't know how you get a job after that, my friends, with a felony record for uh, un unlawfully carrying a firearm. Yeah, so please talk to our police, go to our website, and make sure you are not in violation. All right, got that stuff out of the way. Here's the course, my friends. Nice, not overpowering. We do an orientation quiz. I give you 10 points off just immediately for saying, yes, I think I know how to do this course. We do a LinkedIn assignment. We get that profile. We are branding ourselves. So in a marketing class, we should be branding it. I have all, everything has detailed assignments, and most of these have videos to go into to show you how to do it. We'll then do HP Life. That's Hewlett Packard's way of getting into entrepreneurship. They are seven badges for a digital marketing badge. So you get seven certificates and a digital badge that you can put on your resume, you can put on your LinkedIn. Nice, 100 points. Three tests, there are three units. One, two, three, there we go. There's our marketing analysis, which we do towards the end of the semester, 50 points. In the very end, it's, I don't like to call it a final exam, it's more of a end of course assessment that's done in every marketing class. It's a standardized marketing uh, test. I got the review for it, it's not that hard. And there you are, 600 points. There it is, gold, silver, bronze, nothing less than bronze, my friends. Anything in those lower areas are because no, a student never came to class and did not do their assignments. It wasn't because the information was too difficult. All right, yes, let's make sure, there we go, everything's online. Get yourself a good flash drive. In fact, I'd get the 50 to $75 sand disc. It's got at least 500 gigs. It is a, uh, a great flash drive, just a giant one that you always have in your computer. So many students over the years, their computers crash. You want to back protect all of your digital content throughout your college and your full-time career. Uh, so you always have a copy of that. Again, it's your digital content, and that way you be able to jet out wherever you are, even if you're in the workplace. And so when you get your next job, you have you have an idea, you know, because you backed up all of your projects. Do it. Do it, do it, my friends. There's the great group, The Who. I'm looking forward to meeting you in class. Again, the reason we wanted to get this done, and hopefully you're doing it before class. If you didn't, it's okay. Just do it immediately. So this takes me about an hour or more. It takes the whole first uh, class day up. And since we don't have that many class days, let's get this done. You always have a copy of it. And then we can get right in to our course. So... Um, here is our course organizer. I'll have this for you on the first day. It's also going to be online. Again, this is a fall 2024 course. You may be taking this in spring 2025 or fall 2025 or summer or even 2026. I update them every couple of years. Uh, so don't worry about the date, but you always have a course organizer. There's your dates. That's what we're, you know, this is where we're in. This is the unit marketing environment has your quiz so it has a nice setup to where you know when things are due and of course you can always find this on our canvas page so here's our canvas page real quickly here so there's canvas there's our home page right there's my picture yes that's photoshopped pretty hard but uh, hey you do what you got to do um, this is again what we've just gone over always come to your syllabus so you can have it. So I've got your syllabus right here. And that's what I've been talking through. I have some office hours. Uh, basically, depending on the time of the class, I always try to get to class be, uh, in class beforehand, especially if nobody else is in the class, uh, another class before it. So you can always reach me. You can always email me. Uh, we'll find a way. You can always ask me something after class as well. There's our critical skills, our expectations. There we go again. There is the uh, the point system, the grade, a uh, little bit, a little bit of my late work policy right in here. 
uh, here another course organizer. So these are the assignments which link right to them. And again, we have the dates too. So there's two different areas to find that. I'm going to give you one in class. You'll also have the, uh, the digital file of the course organizer to download and you have it right here. And generally speaking, you should have a little to-do list. Now I'm in the instructor mode, but you'll have some sort of a to-do list down here too. Always check this, my friends. Again, if you can't miss, make a class, don't ask me what, what did I miss? Uh, because I've got things right down in here for you. There's our orientation quiz. You'll get that due, done by the due date. And then there's our first marketing. So I have them all sectioned out in units for you. And you'll see, get right back up there. Uh, these are your resources. There's the assignments right in there. So there's, there we go. Nothing too, nothing too difficult about this class going through it. I'll always have PowerPoints for you. So you can download your PowerPoint right there. It gives you the pretty much the entire PowerPoint for the unit. You can print that out or you can have it uh, for you. So when we talk in class, you can listen, understand, you've always got the PowerPoint to go back to. Also, I have some notes. I have some screen videos right in here. So there, if you, if you ever miss a class, just say, instead of asking me, oh, did I miss anything important? Uh, I, I love that one. Uh, no, man, we didn't do anything. Of course you missed something important. It was, it was, it was amazing. There they are right there. SWOT analysis, situation out value. So I usually have some video, screen recordings of videos. Not me, it's just a screen recording like I'm doing right now. So you can at least catch up. And sometimes they're actually a little bit more in depth than we go over in class. So you, you have another way to get that. And then we have some notes right in here too that you can download and they give you some very detailed notes. So lots of great stuff for you in here. Like I say, it's all you, as much as you wanna use. Students who do the best, Always download these uh, items and uh, make a file folder of Marketing 1311 or whatever course we're taking up. We also teach business and personal finance and have all their things. So there's lesson one, two, three. We are looking good, my friends. All right. I think that takes us to, uh, to where we want to be. Okay. So I'm looking forward to the semester. I'm looking forward to leading you through this overview of the amazing marketing world. And who knows, maybe you become a, uh, a marketing major and, and, and uh, that'd be great. So my friends, let's make it a great semester.